everyone, I wanted to share with you today a mixed media project that I did using Jane Davenport's mixed media line. So I'm doing an Alice in Wonderland painting and uh, first of all I'm using Canson 140 pound watercolor paper cold press. And to do the sketching, I first used water soluble graphite, that was what I did Alice in, and then for the flowers around her, I used a Prismacolor color erase pencil, and the paper was also gessoed first, I put two coats of gesso on, and now I'm using Jane Davenport's lavender paint. It is a very vibrant purple and this is one of her uh, portrait paint colors and this tube is almost empty so I am probably going to need to replace it soon so now I'm using a little bit of a mixture of her blue from her matte acrylic paint set and I end up mixing it up um, with white and she also has a navy blue in that same set that's really pretty so that will come in later so you see how i'm doing some of the shadows i just pulled a little bit of the navy blue and gradually added it and i do some kind of tweaking of that later on and then for her hair, I didn't have a yellow color in Jane Davenport set, but I did have the Dina Wakely lemon color. And it is a heavy body acrylic paint. And it's a little bit, has a tiny bit of a gloss to it. I would call it more of a satin finish than gloss. And so it's a little bit different uh, than Jane's paints in terms of being able to layer over it, but it still was fine for this project. And then I'm using the Jane Brights Petite Palette watercolors, and this is how I do the flowers. So for this flower, I was using the color Happy, or no, excuse me, Apple. <laughs> um, there are actually three reddish tones in this palette, and Apple is one of them. Uh, now I'm using a mixture of Apple and Buzzy, which is a bright yellow. And now I'm using 70s eyeshadow. And next I'm using the color Mystic, which is a warm purple color, and I mixed it a little bit with Royal, which is the more bluish purple. So for a couple of the stems and the leaf there, I used one of her mermaid markers. The color is called Seaweed. And then I painted in the faces and I still wanted them to show up as faces so that they'd be pretty obviously faces by the end of the uh, painting and I'll show you how I do some details with some colored pencils later so that the faces pop out a little bit more. And now I'm using two different of the reddish tones from the Brights watercolor palette on top is Best Friend and the one below it is Fairy Tale, which is a little bit lighter. Then I use the color Blueberry to um, color Alice's eyes. Now I'm just going in with a little bit of white acrylic paint for her sleeves. And I started to do some, kind of play around with some highlights and I end up tweaking that a little bit too. And I end up really um, 
I added another layer of the yellow paint as well to her hair and using the paint over pens to um, define her eyes and to write the quote, do you suppose she's a wildflower? So I mixed up a little bit of a pinkish tone from Jane's set to color her cheeks and then I end up going back over it with the skin color uh, paint and you can still see a little bit of the, the pink peeking out from underneath. But I liked that it added just kind of an overall warmth to her face. And now I'm going in with colored pencils and this is how I'm going to be doing most of the shading for her face. A little bit more of one of the paint over pens in white. And that paint, paint over pen is called Mermaid. It's a blue green color. So this time, instead of using acrylic paint, I did go ahead and use colored pencil to highlight her cheeks with some blush and give her nose a little bit of color and kind of define where her uh, the bridge of her nose is and show shading more so on the left side of the face to show a light source and I really like that pale lavender color to do shadows. Use a little bit of black there to show that her mouth is wide open. She's sort of surprised and now I'm using Jane's incredible fountain pen. And as you can see, it is writing really well over the paint. So that was awesome. I didn't have any trouble using it as far as uh, getting it to write over acrylic and the paint over pens. So it flows really nicely. Now I'm kind of playing around with some shading. I end up uh, kind of adding to the left side uh, a more toned down blonde and just adding some shadows under her face and things like that. And then for the right side, I mixed up some of the yellow with um, that same sort of lavender color so that it would match the left side more so in tone, although it's a lighter color to show the light source. And then I get a lot more bold with that navy blue and start um, defining the dress a little bit more. And here's where I...